Hello everybody, Keen here today with another episode of Wildlife Park. And today we are going to build a panda exhibit because that's literally all I could think of to build today. Um, actually, I did have one other idea and we'll just take a quick little peek. Da -da. Yeah, that's not today. That'll be tomorrow. Not tomorrow. That'll be next week, I guess, when we do that. Anyway, so yeah, today, pandas. Woo, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I was just trying to come. I was, uh, the reason I'm not going to do the aviary this episode is just because, I don't know, I kind of want to hold off on it for a few more episodes, for like at least one more episode, kind of fill in the area over here, and then we'll go and do the aviary, which will be the toucan, kiwi, parrot, uh, and maybe like, I don't know, whatever other birds that I feel fit with it, and yeah, that will be our... Uh, jungle aviary building also I wanted a bit more time to come up with this more strategic plan for how it's going to look because i have aside from a big dome that's that's literally all i know so yeah uh that's that that's uh, that's what we got going for us with the aviary so yeah like uh next week we should hopefully be able to go over there and get that done because i'm still going to stick with the schedule of only one episode of Wildlife Park a week, just because this episode is start, these episodes are trying to take a lot longer to do, and becoming a lot more stressful to make, just because there's a lot of, <laughs> they take a while to build, these exhibits take a while to build and plan out and everything, um, but anyway, so, I mean, I guess the aviary is pretty big, but these two are probably the largest exhibits in this area, I mean, the elephant exhibit's fairly large, but I don't know why this is, like, the big thing. I'm also thinking that beyond this point, I will connect this back here, and from here we'll either have the Africa area or we'll start the boreal forest, which will be kind of like the North America, Europe kind of area. So I'll have like the brown bears, the black bears, uh, beavers, you know, squirrels, I don't know really, that kind of stuff. So it'll be a bit more like the wildlife that uh, isn't as exotic, I guess one might say. But uh, yeah. That's what we'll probably be working on after we finish this whole area off. But I figured that the rock work will probably work quite well in fitting with it and uh, dragging it over to the next section without too much, uh, you know, weirdness about it. Um, anyway, let's just get up and get the rock work done. I mean, the other reason I was try I'm trying to figure out so my idea was either it'll connect up to the African area over here, or it will connect up to the boreal forest area. Um, and either or I think will work quite well here, because the jungle exhibit can can either uh, end off here and go into like savanna over there, let's say, and boreal forest over there. I don't know. I'll probably leave, I'll actually, I don't know. I'll figure that out later. Anyway, uh, I'll do the outside exhibit later. As in, and then by later I mean I'll do that when I have time to do that. Anyway, so some things to talk about today. <laughs> so you guys will have noticed uh, last week I only uploaded uh, one video, and that is due to school mainly. I was just really busy. I had run out of time to actually record enough videos last week. Um, the dinos episode you actually saw yesterday that went up. That's actually from last week. The reason I didn't upload it was just I never, I kind of didn't have time to. So, yeah. So yeah, that was that's something else I'm pri I wanted to mention in this episode is that. Downfall, stupid rain. Um, yeah, because of school, there is always going to be the chance now that there may not be as much content. At first, I was like, oh, you know, this will be easy, but I'm starting to realize I may have been somewhat uh, presumptuous about how the school year was going to be and I'm starting to realize it's maybe a lot more busy than I realized. Now this doesn't mean content's going to stop. There will hopefully be content at least one to two videos each week. Hopefully that will remain a constant. I just can't say that we'll be able to stick with a, uh, you know more than one to two videos a week. Hopefully we will but uh, things may change depending how uh, things play out at school but we'll, we will see we will have to wait and see what happens so yeah um 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of last week was kind of weird. I was I've been playing a couple more games though, so I guess I've got an idea of some stuff I might play. Um, so I actually almost bought Dishonored. I didn't end up buying it, but I almost did because it was on sale, and I've always wanted to play it. But I was like, that might actually make an interesting let's play for the channel. But in the end, I decided not to get it. I think just because uh, I don't really think I have time to play it, which is weird. I don't know. I'm kind of going off on a tangent right now. Um, did actually just record the tomorrow's episode of Dinosaurs right before this, so. At least there should be two episodes of Dinos next week, as well as this video. Um, just need to make sure I get them edited in time. That was the other thing. Um, so one of the other reasons there was a lack of content last week is because I, last week, and continuing from last week now till pretty much the end of school, uh, the school year, uh, next summer, I will be going to school much earlier in the mornings because I have to drop someone off or something, like a before school thing. Anyway, that's not the important thing. The, the thing is, it's just basically going to mean that it's a lot harder to get things edited and recorded and ready to go in the morning because I don't have time to do it in the afternoon anymore, uh, record or edit. So I kind of just have the morning and I have to hope I can get everything edited and ready before the next morning and yeah it's 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 gonna be crazy so like i said at the beginning of the video just kind of prepare for there not to be as much content but you know i, I think you guys kind of expected that to happen i don't know i don't know what you guys were thinking but yeah it doesn't look too bad fits in quite well with the uh tiger area i gotta maybe i'll put something here i don't know we'll have to see what i end up doing um, oh yeah, sorry also that there was no stream this weekend. I had planned to, but stuff happened and that was unfortunately not something I could work into my schedule. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, hopefully next weekend, if I can manage my time slightly better, uh, there will be, a, hopefully there will be a live stream next time, but, uh, and we'll work a bit more on the texture pack, getting the dinosaur stuff for, uh, done, because that was actually a lot of fun, and I'm glad you guys actually really enjoyed it. The video of this stream actually did quite well as well, which is quite cool. It's really cool. Usually, you know, live streams aren't the most popular thing on my channel. So yeah, it was nice to see one that actually did decent. Yeah. Anyway, um... Let's just... How does this look? Not too terrible. Not too terrible indeed. Um, okay, so now I just want to... I'm trying to remember. The last one I made is actually somewhat a bit more like this, where as we went up, as we went farther, farther back to the exhibit, it became a big hill. And I don't think I'm going to do that for this one. I think this one I'm going to just kind of, well, I think I'm going to stick with a hill idea, but I think it'll be a bit more like instead of just, you know, one, the entire back of the exhibit's the hill, I'll just make one side of the exhibit a hill and that'll be good. Okay. We're also going to turn the sounds way down to like two because, well, I got to do this now and this is very, very loud. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm very sorry the commentary is off. Um, I'm just trying to think of what to say, actually. It's it's weird. I have, this is the series I'd say I probably struggle with the most commentary-wise, because uh, dinos I never seem to struggle to commentate on. But that's just just because, you know, it's like... we've I've always gotten a general idea of what's going on and what I'm spo supposed to talk about, I guess? This series, I'm still trying to figure that out, and... Uh, doesn't help, like I said, I just recorded a Dinos episode, and it doesn't help that I took like a 15, 20 minute break in between recording. I should have just gone straight to recording this in all reality, but uh, I don't know. I just kind of wanted a tiny little break just to watch a video or two, and then I was going to hop back in. <sighs> anyway, what else is happening? Ooh, so, uh, what was it? Middle Earth Shadow of War is coming out uh, in about a month and a half, I believe, because it's supposed to come out in October. So yeah, that'll, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited for that. Um, 
cool Lord of the Rings game. And for those of you who are new to the channel and don't know this, I am a pretty big Lord of the Rings fan. I love those books and movies. They're quite good and uh, enjoy them a lot. Enjoy them a good amount. Considered playing the Lord of the Rings mod, I just don't really have anything to do um, with it, or I don't know what I would do with it because it's a it's a great mod and it's awesome and it has to do with one of the things I tremendously enjoy. But I don't know. I just don't know what I would end up recording with it. Oh, okay. So I guess another thing I missed out talking about was, uh, and I really wanted to say something about this, but you know I was unable to get more videos up. Uh, the new Jurassic Park Operation Genesis game that's coming out. Uh, what is it called? Jurassic Park Evolution? No, Jurassic World Evolution. Um, yeah, I saw the trailer for that. Um, mixed feelings about it. On one hand, I'm somewhat, I'm actually decently excited for it on one hand because new dinosaur game is always really cool. Um, on the other hand, I'm kind of scared about it because, I don't know, I think the, I, I don't know, I kind of feel like they may mess it up and we might get a, a terrible DLC ridden game that's going to kind of ruin it. But hopefully that doesn't happen and it ends up just being an enjoyable title where we get to build a dinosaur park and, you know, just have fun. Like, that, that's what I'm hoping for. You know, like I guess, you know what, we'll talk, we'll talk about that game, Jurassic World Evolution, for today's episode comment, main commentary, I guess. Um, I, I think it looks cool. I definitely like it. I saw the trailer. Uh, I like that they actually showed the T-Rex, I guess, eating a guy. Um, I did actually watch another person's review on it. That was another thing they liked because, I don't know, it just reminds me of JPOG and I'm very excited if they're going to allow us to actually free our dinosaurs accidentally um, and have them attack the visitors because for any of you who saw the last JPOG episode I did, which was kind of like a finale episode, um, we obviously did the thing where you release all your dinosaurs, let them eat the tourists because it's fun and it's just how a Jurassic Park thing should be. Three, three, and there's a six. Okay, so four, four, four. There we go. Um, but yeah, that, that was pretty fun. So I'm hoping that is definitely going to be one feature where so your dinosaurs can actually escape and you gotta hope they don't eat everyone, though secretly you do hope they eat everyone because it's quite entertaining to watch. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that filled me with some hope that this will end up being a good game. The main thing I'm afraid about with it is that it's going to follow the trend that a lot of modern games have, and that is the DLC policy, which means that, you know, by the time the game actually is fully released, there's like nine bajillion DLC for it, and you kind of feel like, why did I buy this for 60 bucks if now I have to pay an additional like $100 to actually get the complete game? So I really hope they don't do a ton of DLC because I think that'll be the death of that game. Because I don't really think, I mean, like this, that's just what I'm thinking. It's like, it doesn't matter how cool your dinosaur game is, if you put tons and tons and tons of really expensive DLC in it or put DLC for stupid things, like I'm afraid they're going to, you know, do DLC where you have to buy individual dinosaurs. Like, if they do that, I'm out of the game straight away. I got to refund it at that moment just because uh, that'd be very, very irritating to have to deal with. Anyway, so I guess that's, that's my two cents then, I guess, on the uh, upcoming game. Hopefully, I, I'm really hoping it does turn out better than I think it will. Because, I, I, I'm not going to lie, I would like a brand new JPOG game. It'd be pretty cool. Even though, technically, we're getting a couple more with, like, Prehistoric Kingdom and stuff, it would be cool to have a new, like, AAA title JPOG game. Anyway, let's do this, just for decoration. Very similar fence to the uh, Tiger exhibit, but you know what? Who cares? It looks cool. It looks really cool. At least, I think it does. Um, what do we want to put in here? I'll do that just because simple and effective. And there we go. And there's the lag issue. I don't know why it's lagging because it, it doesn't usually lag like this. Um, what is it? F3A reloads the world. Okay, it's like 
something over there, and I don't know what it is. Elephant, that's cool. Um, but yeah, my two cents on Jurassic World Evolution. Hope I really hope it does turn out good. I really do, because it would be awesome. Anyway, let's get back to exhibit building. God, we got we got some decent stuff going down here. Uh, let's grab some podzol and don't want this to be too similar to the tiger exhibit, so we're not gonna do the waterfall thing. Just or maybe we'll do more than one waterfall. I don't know. Could be different enough. The other reason I want to use Podzol is I'm probably going to use a lot of Podzol in the uh, kind of spruce slash boreal forest America's European area because, I don't know, that's that's what I feel like I, it should look like. Um, so I guess having the Podzol for the tigers and the uh, pandas might be a good breaker into that area, whereas the uh, Asian elephants would probably be a better breaker into the savanna area because elephants and then obviously the next elephant exhibit's going to be over there so that'd be pretty good um okay we'll just break through all this grass the sound is actually really down low still just because i completely forgot about that um let's keep digging out stuff oh boy i'm just kind of thinking so um i still have got to record a couple more videos um this today um, and I'm trying to figure out what it's gonna end up being and I think I may actually have finally picked out a game I doubt it's gonna be popular I, in fact I'm heavily expecting it to fail but it's a game I can oh my, good grief what is with this lag I swear it's not in, like even when I'm recording usually it doesn't lag this bad um, I think I must have corrupted something. Like, did I corrupt something or my OptiFine settings messed up? Maybe it's my OptiFine settings. That would actually be, I think that would actually make some sense if it was my OptiFine. But uh, yeah, I'll do a reinstall of everything later and see if I can figure out why lag is what's happening around here. Because I would rather prefer no lag to uh, lag. Um, and we'll do all this. Like that. Yeah, that actually looks kind of cool. And now for probably the most important part of this exhibit. And if any of you were here for the original, actually not even the original, that was technically, what iteration of the series it was that? That was the like fourth, maybe fifth, fifth iteration of the wildlife park series or my zoo series um in general uh but yeah like my last panda exhibit any at any rate was just like all bamboo no i had the cherry trees in it as well didn't i yeah i had cherry trees man that exhibit that exhibit had a lot of lag actually in the end because like that exhibit killed my computer when the uh world corruption happened because there were just so much bamboo oh excuse me uh i had a coke right before i had a glass of coca-cola before i started recording today there we go but uh yeah the like bamboo trees turned all into candles or something and like my computer died or something because of it and man World corruptions are probably the most annoying thing I've ever had to deal with in Minecraft, just because your world works perfectly fine, and then suddenly, you know, you can't move, all your stuff is gone, you'll never get rid of the lag problems you have, because, I don't know, your computer is AIDS. Ugh. Ugh. Um, oh yeah, so what else did I do? Um, I had little bamboo stalks, just ones like this, to kind of fill in some of the spaces like that. One to two tall bamboo fronds and other such things, just to kind of fill in the exhibit a bit more. 
Of course, the last, like, I kind of feel like I should have replicated that exhibit, actually, because it was really good. Yeah, it was actually a really, really good exhibit, and I feel like I should have replicated it, but, eh, it's always good to try new things out. Um, so, yeah. I guess in the end, it's a better idea to make a new exhibit. Um, yeah, we'll do the leaf, the leaf barrier bush things, just because why not? It's a good way to, you know, not have to do a ton of extra foliage while filling up a large amount of space, which is always good, you know? Keep the exhibit interesting looking without having to use a ton of different blocks. I'm probably gonna start doing this on my dino's world to spruce up some, oh no, because the dinosaurs will actually eat all the leaves if I do that, which really isn't, uh, not optimal. Not, it's optimal the word I'm looking for? I don't feel like it is, which isn't uh, the, the idea, I guess, the plan. It would be very counterproductive to have all the bushes eaten by the dinosaurs. Um, let's see, how does this look? Not too bad. Not as good as the original exhibit I built for pandas, but as an exhibit for pandas goes, this isn't too terrible. Let's throw in... Also, sorry if you hear anything in the background. I think my brothers are playing basketball inside, so... Yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, that's actually not too terrible. They can actually hide somewhat in here, which is good. Is that one sitting down and moving? Yep. Well, that's typical Minecraft for you. Let's show the exhibit off. I, yeah, that's the thing. Shaders always makes these exhibits look like a hundred times better. It actually makes the animals look somewhat hidden in there. Yeah, I like it. Okay, let's take a quick look from inside. Oh yeah, let's see the fence. Fence looks pretty good. Oh, and I did stop the time with just the perfect, because uh, I've got the daylight set to uh, just stay here. And I think it's like, like the perfect location to make these exhibits look so cool. Well, anyway, uh, we're gonna take shaders off because this is lagging me to high heck. Um, but yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, panda build. Next week we'll be taking on the aviary, which is over there somewhere. So I hope you guys are excited for that. And until next time, see ya.